And when you're running, you're breaking your tissues down and things are, things are getting beat up a little bit. And depending on diet, your weight, your intensity of exercise, um, your form, you know, so if you're breaking your body down faster than it's recovering at night, yeah, that can lead to injury that will make you want to stop. So um, an easy way to check that is your resting heart rate in the morning. The more conditioned a person is, the lower their heart rate is. So as your inten training intensity is going up and your mileage is going up, your heart rate should stay the same, even go down because you're getting in better shape. If your resting heart rate, for example, is you know 50 beats per minute in the morning and after a few months go up and you're even up three beats per minute at night, that's a sign of overtraining. That's a sign that you're breaking your body down a little faster than it's recovering and you're setting yourself up for injury. A big one that we also tell people is night pain. I mean, if, if you got, you know, I know we focus on the legs a lot or if you got a lot of back pain that's waking you up at night, something's going on. You know, your body's, you're breaking it down faster than you're recovering. So you want to, you got to find that spectrum. but. Um, most of the time, by the time they trickle down here to physical therapy, they're hurting. They've had it going on for months or even years. You have people with plantar fasciitis for years, you know, and it's like, well, the tissue is healed, but maybe it's, again, maybe it's your movement pattern that's getting you in trouble.